Jamie here, your own personal fitness trainer. So today's going to be a shoulder workout. Yeah. And we're going to be using high intensity training like super slow training and pyramid up or down training. So if you'd like that, stay tuned. So I have here two 15 pound weights and I'm going to do super slow training with the shoulder press. And I'm going to use the chair because rather than the bench because I just want something more sturdy for my back. So here we go. Okay, so for the shoulder press, I'm coming out at a 90 degree angle with my elbows bending them and then pressing them back up. And I'm doing a five count down. Counting slow for five and then pressing them up. So two, three, four, five, and pressing them back up overhead. And I had two 15 pound dumbbells. All together, I did 10 reps. And uh, you're really gonna feel that tension there on your shoulders. And you don't want to go down too far. I went no farther than that. More like shoulder level. You get a nice burn. Okay, and you notice how I came out of that with the weights? Okay, so now I'm going to do the same thing, but this time I'm going to do with the 10 count down. You really have to slow it up for that one. And uh, I believe it's a bit harder. So for this super slow training with the 10 count, counting down, I only did six reps for this one. It's really good. It's harder. Now, you'll notice the second time I counted too fast. You see that? And so I couldn't get it all in, and then I had my elbows get down a little too far. So you don't want to do that. So there we go. Now, slow count it up there at the top. You really got to take it down very slow to get all 10 in. Okay, there I go. Press it back up overhead. Take it out wide, 90 degree. Oh, it's really good. feel like I got a good muscle pump on that one. So keep in mind before you do the next exercise, you do want to rest in between like two to three minutes. So this next one is going to be a neutral grip press with super slow training, five count up and five count down and I'll have two 15 pounds. So I'm holding them in a neutral grip or a hammer grip, holding them at the top of my shoulders and I'm pressing them straight up ahead for the count of five and I'm taking them down to the count of five. So that makes this one a little different. Up for five and slow count down for five. And I was going for eight reps, but I couldn't make it all together. I did seven. So, see what you can do for this exercise after doing those other ones. Okay, for this last one, I'm doing pyramid down, and I'm going to do the front shoulder press that's when you hold the weights in here and press them on up on the incline bench and it's going to work the front of your delts there. So I'm going to stay 
start with the weight and work my way down. And you know, gotta keep using the free weights, gotta get up and get down, but uh, you're still not resting. So, here we go. Okay, so you can see that I'm on an inclined bench and I'm holding on my neutral grip right there at my shoulders and pressing them straight up overhead, working the front of my delts. So I have two 20 pound weights and I did four reps. And uh, the next one, I'll be grabbing the 15 pounds. Okay, so I'm doing the same thing, holding them up my shoulders, pressing them up over her head. And the two 15 pound weights, without resting, I did eight reps. And you wanna keep uh, going down in weight, and you wanna do as many as you can. All right, so now I'm going down to the two 12 pound weights. All right, pressing them up overhead, and all together I did 12 reps. Now the thing of it is, just because you're going and you're continuing without resting, you still wanna have good form. You know, you're not rushing so much that you can't have good form for the exercise. So just keep that in mind. And uh, that was the last one I was able to do. Typically, I'd go up the other direction, but yeah, I couldn't do any more. That was it for me. But I know you can do all of them as I did. So, I hope you liked it, and until next time, I'll see ya.